Hi, this is Congressman Guy Reschenthaler, and you're listening to Get Going with Guy, a conservative's guide to cutting through the propaganda of the woke left in the mainstream media, a podcast where hypocrisy has no home. All right, bluff, bottom line up front. I want to give you guys an update on Afghanistan, some quick responses to some myths and some, frankly, untruths that you're hearing bantered around in the media today. All right, let's just think about it. This is a huge strategic blunder on the United States to pull out of Afghanistan. I did a podcast on this about a week or two back. Go back and listen to it, but I just want to give an update on what I'm hearing. First off is I'm hearing that Afghanistan was a distraction from China, that we were doing this pivot to Asia. We are absolutely correct doing a pivot to Asia, but just because we pivot to Asia doesn't mean the threats go away in the Middle East. And while I'm on that topic, Afghanistan borders, Eastern Afghanistan borders Western China. Don't believe me? Pull up a map. It's true. And the fact that we were there, the Bagram Air Base, we were able to project our power abroad, not only if anything occurred in Western China, but also as a buffer to Russian influence. And we were right there uh, in the neighborhood of Iran. We are losing the ability to project this power abroad. We're losing the ability to do human intel gathering. This was not a distraction from Asia. In fact, it was a way to contain a growing aggressive China in the Western part of Asia. You're also going to hear that this was somehow an inevitable result, that this was always going to happen. That is nonsense. I was told this was a multi-generational war after 9-11. I was in college. I was a freshman when this happened. Last time I checked, my generation doesn't have grandchildren. This was always supposed to be a multi-generational war against Islamic terrorism and extremism. We are still fighting that war because the radicals and the violent extremists that, that are in the Middle East, still want to attack the United States and our allies. The threat hasn't gone away, nor should we. We're still in Germany. We're still in Korea. We're still in Japan. For that matter, we're still in Cuba. We should always have stayed at least with a small amount of troops around Kabul and retain the Bagram Air Base to do what? Intel gathering and air support in support of our allies. And that brings me to my last point. You might hear that this was absolutely unsustainable. That too is absolutely incorrect. We had a small contingency of troops that was absolutely sustainable. This was affordable in terms of overall military budget and the risk was incredibly low in in recent years in Afghanistan. There was a risk, yes, I understand that, but taking a broader scope of geopolitics and national security and defense It was reasonably low risk. If we would have stayed there, we could have shared our intel with our allies in Afghanistan, and we could have supported our allies when the Taliban was attacking with air support. Now it's a total loss. But that's it for today, gang. See you next time. And as always, just call me Guy. Oh, and one more thing. The Democrats definitely want to defund the police. New York York City defunded the police by $1 billion. Homicide rates are up 41%.